Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a way to record with no lag on AMD systems. This program is called AMD ReLive or ReLive, I don't know how you want to say it, but I'm going to say ReLive. So you might already have this installed, so if you want to check, go to your taskbar, right click the AMD Radeon settings and click open Radeon settings. And if it comes up with AMD ReLive up there and the settings open up, that means you have it already installed. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type that in and then search it and it will come up as the first result radeon relive dash amd and that's the one you're going to want to click once the page loads up this is what it's going to look like as you can see on the screen right now and what you're going to want to do is check if your graphics card supports it these are some of the graphics cards that support it the graphics card that i'm using is the radeon hd 7870 so it's quite an old card but it does support it so what you want to do is find out if your graphics card supports it which should be solved with a quick google search what you're going to do is click the download now icon it would come up to this page which is basically the amd driver page so the easiest option here is to automatically detect and install the driver and all you have to do is install an application and let it run and it will detect the driver for you and install it but if you know your graphics card then you can just go in and find your graphics card driver manually also on the right hand side it has the list of latest drivers which might be easier once you find your graphics card driver just download and install it and you're ready for the next step so once it's installed you're going to want to open up radeon settings and then go to relive and these are the settings as you can see on the screen right now and these are my settings so you could use these settings if you want so now once you're in a game or on your desktop all you have to do is press alt and z or z together and the toolbar will come up as you can see it says record stream and screenshot so those are the options that you can do at the moment and you can go into settings and change your settings if you want this software to record your microphone then click microphone and it should light up to indicate that it's active same with camera normally when you install a program the indicator is on by default so you're going to want to turn that off because that is very distracting in your games it comes up in the top left and it shows the timer for how long it has been recording and that also shows up in the video so it's better to disable that if you want that to not show up in the video instant replay allows you to record for a certain amount of time in the past and if you want to record your desktop you want to click enable on record desktop the last button is to change the toolbar position so you can change it to the top bottom or the middle i'm just going to leave it in the middle hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial in the background there's some footage of me recording with this software as you can see as you can see in the top left it has the recording indicator so that's why you want to disable it because you can't get rid of that after you've recorded the video so it's better to disable it while in the settings so that you don't ruin your recording and as you can see the quality is really good 1080p 60 fps with no lag at all as you can probably tell it has my frame rate in the bottom left because i'm using the steam frame rate indicator so yeah as you can see it looks pretty good hope this was helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye